Namaste, welcome to the TSAT classes, the guidance classes on uh, group 1 services. Uh, this is exclusively for preparation of your uh, uh, prelims examination. As you know it uh, in the prelims examination, there are 13 concepts, there are 13 concepts. Among the 13 concepts, uh, the first concept is current affairs. As you know, the current affairs are very important for the preparation of current affairs. You have to prepare uh, the various uh, news channels, uh, news journals and all the things. For that, we collected the information uh, month wise and uh, context wise means national issues, international issues, uh, sports and games, science and technology, economy like all the information uh, arranged in a chronological order and we are going to to you in a uh, sequential order. So, definitely this will help you to practice for the examination with a more effective manner. Okay. So, now we will see one by one. So, what are the uh, new things happens here? So, the, this is a very important uh, uh, in this month uh, uh, April 2022, the Maharashtra state announced a Jenny bank project, genetic bank actually Jenny bank project means a genetic bank. So, recently Maharashtra cabinet approved the Maharashtra genetic bank a first of its kind project in India. So, the question comes in this uh, uh, scenario is uh, which state starts the genetic bank project in India. So, that is a Maharashtra. So, the question comes in this manner. And one more thing here, this Maharashtra Genetic Bank project will work on seven themes. You have to understand these seven themes very important. The first one is marine diversity, biodiversity. Second one is local crop seed, local crop varieties, seed varieties. Third one, indigenous cattle breeds. The fourth one, fresh water biodiversity. And the fifth one, grassland, scrubland and animal grazing land biodiversity. And the sixth one, conversation, conservation and management plans for areas under forest right and uh, rejuvenation of forest areas. So, this, uh, these are the different themes. These themes will help you for the mains preparation, but the very important thing is the question comes in this area, in this context is which state starts the genetic bank uh, pro project first time in India that is a uh, Maharashtra. So, that question comes in the examination. So, you have to prepare in that manner. Now, we will shift to the end next one. Global security initiative. Speaking at the opening ceremony of the BOYO form for Asia. So, here BFA. So, they will ask the importance of what is BFA. So, here speaking at the opening ceremony of the uh, BOYO form of for Asia BFA, the annual uh, conference on 2022 Chinese president. Here the question is here who is the Chinese president that is also very important. The Chinese president is uh, uh, as you know it uh, Xi Jinping was put forward a new global security initiative. So, that was happen in BFA and according to the Chinese president, the initiative is to be promote security for all in the world and to oppose unilateralism and group politics and block confirmation. So, the initiative is aimed to countering the initiatives of West like uh, to Indo-Pacific strategy of the USA the Quad and AUKUS that is Australia, UK and US security pact. So, this is a very important what is AUKUS means Australia, UK and US security pact and this was uh, this was announced in the global security initiative by the president of China that is Xi Jinping this is a very important. So, you have to concentrate on this one. Now, the next one, the Nabat Farmer Districts Index, this is a one more important area happens in the month of April. So, here the Nabat, as you know it, what is the Nabat here? National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, that is called Nabat, full form of Nabat. Actually, this is planning to create a farmer distress 
index that is called simply as f d i. So, here the word they may ask you to what is the full form of f d i means farmer distress index and the, this f d i is uh, aiming to track. So, which farmers actually really are suffering or uh, getting a difficulty uh, to get uh, what you call financial support or technical support in point of agriculture and uh, all these things. So, the banks who are going to provide a financial support this F D I uh, index means will help them. So, they can identify the real farmers who need the financial support from the banks they can identify easily. So, that will help you in that the NABAD is planning uh, is proposed this F D I. So, this is a very important clear ok. Now, shifting to the next. So, recently there is a MOU is taken memorandum of understanding between uh, Telangana state and Google. So, these two on 28th April 2022 the Google officially announced that the uh, there is a collaboration with the state government of Telangana and signed a memorandum of understanding MOU for supporting uh, accelerating the state in various things leverage uh, technology for the purpose of uh, uh, inclusive social development and sustainable economic development for that. Uh, so, these two are taking a uh, uh, support from one and another means here uh, the Google is going to give the support technical support for the state of Telangana. So, that is a one, one more important uh, development happens in the month of April. So, it is concerned to the Telangana. So, the question may ask it in the. So, means here uh, which company is taking MOU as given MOU with uh, uh, the sustained development uh, for the Telangana state you may ask it that is Google company clear. Now, we will shift to the next. So, this is a world day for safety and health at work. This is one more uh, day that is as you know it on 28th April. So, there are so many days each day is with one day on 28th April is the world day for safety and health at work. Okay. So, here uh, throughout the world throughout the globe this uh, 20th April is going to be conducted as celebrated as world day for safety and health. So, actually this is concluded in actually it is a coincide with the one of the important day that is uh, called as international commemoration day in dead and injured workers also these these two are a uh, coincide. So, you have to remember these two days and 28th February sorry 28th April is going to be considered and celebrated as world day for safety and health. So, this is a very important thing. Now, another most important one is called Gagan satellite technology. India has achieved a major landmark after the airports authority of India AAI successfully conducted a trial by applying the latest indigenous satellite based argument system we simply call it as is SBAS. SBAS means a satellite based uh, argument system. This technology named as Gagan and is supported by GPS aided geo augment system and this Gagan has been jointly developed by the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO and the Airport Authority of India AAI. So, which technology is developed by the uh, collaboration of AAI and ISRO that is uh, is called simply as Gagan this Gagan satellite technology is uh, used to uh, for indigenous satellite based augmentation system to uh, like like a GPS system which are used for in in trains and other things we are using the same uh, satellite uh, technology are using in an aeroplanes also that is a Gagan satellite technology. Now, come to the next one 
and this is the most important development happens in this uh, this month in April 2022. That is, uh, uh, so we have a good practice that uh, that is uh, oh, to get admission into Kendriya Vijayalaya. Then there is a uh, there is a quota, some quota for the uh, member of parliament and district magistrates also. But uh, the of course the central government and the Minister of Education decides that. So, from this month onwards, so there is no quota allotted allocated for the member of parliaments and district magistrate to give admission into Kendriya Vidyalaya. That is simply we are saying scrapping of MP and DM quota in Kendriya Vidyalaya schools. This is a more one more important development happens in the month of April. Now, a uh, very important thing is Dr. Suman K. Berry appointed as a new vice chairman of Niti Ayog. So, as you know it, it is uh, a change after uh, uh, BJP government come into the uh, uh, of course, uh, ruling. So, the planning commission is changed into Niti Ayog and uh, for Niti Ayog Dr. Suman K. Berry appointed as a new vice chairman for Niti Ayog. So, this is uh, one more or uh, important uh, development here and India extended an additional support for the Sri Lanka that is a 500 million US dollars. So, this this one happens in the month of April and as you know it Estonia hosts the world's largest cyber exercise this one happens and the defense expert Vivek Lal he is received entrepreneur leadership award. So, who received entrepreneur leadership award they may ask in the examination that is a uh, the defense expert actually he comes under the uh, area defense. So, he is the Vivek Lal. So, Vivek Lal who is a uh, defense expert he received uh, entrepreneur leadership award in the month of April 2022. Okay. So, now we will see one more that is a uh, Sivalik small Finance Bank appoints Anshul Swami as a managing director and CEO. This is a one more thing here. The very important the Tata Group to merge Air Asia with Air India. So, recently uh, a Tata Group has taken Air India from our central government and recently in the month of uh, April. So, the Air Asia is merged into Air India. So, these two are merged from the Tata group. Okay. So, the next one is uh, US place India, China, Russia on property rights priority watch list. So, here uh, uh, the US uh, uh, makes us uh, they have to observe the property rights uh, watch list in that uh, property right wa watch list uh, the China, Russia and India are included. So, they are going to observe the property rights how they are implemented in those. So, they these three countries are comes are allotted are given in the watch list by the United States. So, this uh, is one more important thing here and one more Assam gets a, a cow ambulance here. So, which state uh, maintains a cow ambulance uh, services means here Assam. So, because uh, they will give a more importance for the cows. So, like uh, our common human being also. So, like our so they started a cow ambulance services. So, the state Assam started a cow ambulance services for the the protection and giving a, uh, for the uh, cow are not all animals for cow. Okay. And uh, one more very important uh, thing is Lieutenant General Major Pandey takes over a new chief of army staff. So, this is a very who is the new chief army staff you can say lieutenant, lieutenant general Major Manoj Pandey. So, this is a one more very important. So, Manoj Pandey who is the lieutenant general for the uh, army. So, he is the now chief of the army staff. So, this is one more uh, appointment happens in in April 2022. Okay. Now, we will see the next Vijay Sampala. Vijay Sampala appointed as a 
NCSC, NCSC chairperson, NCSC chairperson national commission for scheduled caste. So, the, the now the chairperson of national commission for scheduled caste is Vijay Sampala, he was appointed the second time, he was appointed as a second time for as a vice chair, as sorry chairman for the NCS national commission for scheduled caste. And you know that uh, there is a uh, uh, five solar power purchases agreements happens in this April 2022. And uh, government launch revamped zero effect, zero defect scheme for MSMES. The full form of MSMES units Ministry of Minor, Small and Medium Enterprises. So, this is M S M E S. So, here so the government launches uh, the zero effect, zero defect scheme for the M S M E S. So, Minister for my micro, small and medium enterprises here. And the very inter important thing is Gobert Golb, Robert Golb elected as a Prime Minister of Slovenia. One more important Siva Sridhar claims 7 gold medals in Kelo India University games. So, on, when you come into the sports and uh, uh, games, so that is Siva Sridhar, Siva Sridhar gained 7 gold medals. So, in Kelo India University games, Kelo India University games here. So, now uh, on the event of uh, uh, 75 years completion, generally so, these uh, things are happen. So, here uh, the Kelo India University Games, Siva Sridhar claims uh, 7 gold medals. Okay. Now, coming to the uh, one more important here, uh, here this uh, the World Bank approves 47 million dollars for India's mission that is Karma Yogi program. So, here this is a very, very important uh, uh, thing here, we have a financial assistance from the World Bank nearly 47 million dollars, million dollars from World Bank to India for the promotion of for uh, continue execution of the mission that is Karma Yogi program. So, this is uh, one more important and uh, state come industry association science uh, pact with uh, TSDSA that is uh, one more and Netflix and uh, information broadcast ministry collaborate uh, for video series, this is one more and already I said the Google signs uh, MOU memorandum of, memorandum of agreement understanding with the Telangana government and BHEL Bharat Heavy Electrical Limited and General Energy Power uh, conversion in ink pack to develop a system for the Navi. So, for Navi the BHL and GE uh, make a understanding and they developed as a, a power conversion ink pad. So, this is uh, one more development happens here and when one more here uh, the Marthi Suzuki joins hands with the Indian bank. The reliance industry this is uh, one more important question comes on uh, this month here that is uh, in the April the re reliance industry becomes the first uh, uh, company who hits a uh, 19 lakh crore market value the first company who hits uh, the mark benchmark that is 19 lakh crore rupees market valuation the first time the reliance industry uh, reach here reach this uh, this mark in the month of April 2022 and the cabinet approves the financial support for the India post payment bank. So, here you know that uh, so the post offices uh, started recently as uh, for the uh, financial transactions as India post payment bank and uh, the cabinet approves uh, the financial support for the India post bank uh, payment bank that is one more important here. And space X launches the Q 4 astronauts on flight to space station this is one more uh, I think uh, happens the in science and technology area. And one more important thing is Beijing religious book uh, titled Missile Life. So, the question may come as uh, uh, the Beijing uh, religious uh, book uh, on the name of what is uh, that one is the Missile Life. So, this is a uh, one more uh, important thing happened in this uh, month uh, 
April 2022. And uh, uh, SEBI restructures its advisory committee on market data. This is uh, one more thing and Reserve Bank of India imposes monetary penalty on Rajkot Nagarik Sahakari Bank Limited. So, there is some uh, violations in the rules and regulations by the Rajkot Nagarik uh, Sahakarik Bank Limited. So, on that Ra RBI imposes a monetary penalty. So, so, in this month April uh, RBI makes a penalty on which bank they may ask the question you have to say Rajkot Nagarik Sahakari Bank Limited. So, uh, suffered from the uh, fine or penalty which was imposed by the Reserve Bank of India in this month uh, April 2022. And Airtel Payment Bank and in Indusland Bank tie up for the fixed deposit FDS. Uh, and uh, recently as you know, uh, know that uh, uh, Delhi and uh, Punjab governments these two uh, comes under the uh, same uh, party uh, ruling. So, for that reason, so they have uh, a, a agreement that is called knowledge sharing agreement between uh, Delhi and Punjab happens in this month uh, April. And very important thing is the world oldest person Kani Tanaka. So, Kani Tanaka who is the world oldest person in the uh, one he was uh, died in Japan. Uh, his age is 119 years, 119 years. The world most aged person uh, from Japan. So, he is the world most person among the world. So, that is a, he is from Japan. He was died recently on, on in the month of uh, April and his age was 119 years. This is a, a thing happens here. And Aditya Birla capital appoints uh, Vishaka Mulai as the next CEO. Now, so the question may come so who is the next who is the CEO for Aditya Birla Capital. So, they may ask the question in this manner. Okay. And uh, Toronto Power buys 50 million watt solar power plant from Sky Power Group. This one happens and as a very important thing is NMDC wins the first position in four categories uh, at uh, PRSI awards for uh, 2022, which uh, company wins the four uh, category for first position uh, among PRSI awards 2022 means you have to say NMDC. And very important one more important thing is, so already I said in the month of April every day is comes with one uh, name that is. Uh, uh, April 23rd is English day, April 23rd is a uh, English language day. So, uh, so, which is the which day is going to celebrate as English language day? You can say uh, 23rd April will be considered as English language day. Clear? Okay. Uh, and Dhanalakshmi Bank signs with the uh, signs with the uh, CBDT and CBIC for tax collection uh, they have making a, a memorandum of understanding. So, here um, so Dhanalakshmi bank uh, sign, sign with uh, for getting a tax collection with, with banks they may ask it is CBDT and CBIC. Okay. And uh, uh, very important thing is uh, already I said uh, Dr. Suman K. Bari appointed as a new vice chairman for Niti Ayoko this one happens and uh, India extended uh, nearly uh, additional uh, uh, 500 US dollars for the support of Sri Lanka. And uh, very one more important thing is uh, defense expert Vivek Lal receives entrepreneur leadership award and uh, uh, this is a one more important thing is Babita Singh named as a new global peace ambassador for 2022. This is one more important thing here. Babita Singh named as a new global peace ambassador for 2022. So, they are they may here uh, there is two possibilities from this uh, things here just now what happens who is the next vice chairman for 
Niti Ayog, Dr. Suman K. Berry. Dr. Suman K. Berry is the next vice chairman for the Niti Ayog. This is a one possibility and one of another one more uh, recently who was appointed or who received uh, uh, the new global peace ambassador 2022 means uh, Babita Singh. So, you have to say these two you have to practice this thing. Okay. Now, uh, one more thing here uh, happens here Hall and ESSC uh, join hands for the skill development. Uh, one web link is packed with ISRO commercial arm with satellite launches. So, so now uh, recently ISRO uh, started a commercial arm uh, given uh, uh, for satellite launches. A commercial link is uh, given if you want to uh, launch a satellite. The ISRO is given a web, web link for uh, uh, launching the satellites also. So, that is one thing. And, uh, uh, very uh, very very important recently uh, the prime minister of uk visited our sabarmati ashramam so uh, means who is the uh, prime minister of uh, united kingdom boris johnson so boris johnson uh, who is the united kingdom prime minister uh, recently means in the month of uh, april 2022 visited sabarmati ashram so, that is uh, this is a very important uh, uh, fact and uh, uh, one more uh, yeah and one more thing ha is a uh, very important recently comes uh, in the news channel also very familiar as in Sivamogga. Sivamogga is uh, one of the name of airport in Karnataka. It was named as uh, B S Edurappa. So, Sivamogga airport was named after B S Edurappa airport, Sivamogga airport was uh, named. This is uh, one more uh, important and uh, 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 recently uh, the India made COVID vaccine is given a, a quad initiative on the quad initiative uh, this, uh, uh, this COVID vaccine India made COVID vaccine is given to the Thailand. So, this is uh, one more thing here. And uh, as you know it, uh, uh, the president uh, signs on four business journals uh, and one more day is we are going to say April 20th is going to be uh, announced as UN Chinese language day, United Nation Chinese language day is going to be celebrated on 20th April. The first nations for portable solar uh, rooftop system was unveiled in Gandhi Nagar, in Gandhi Nagar in Gujarat. So, the first nation uh, portable solar rooftop uh, system was uh, un unrevealed and Indusland bank bags uh, uh, which banks uh, which bank bag global uh, uh, salient model bank salient model bank. So, which bank is uh, uh, get salient model bank award means here uh, Indus bank. So, this is uh, one more important and this uh, Indian uh, GM Mukesh wins uh, the title at La Roda International Tourney. So, it comes on this uh, who wins the title uh, La Roda International Tourney means here uh, uh, GM uh, means here uh, simply Indian Grand Master uh, Jukesh. Jukesh wins the uh, La Roda International Tourney uh, this one and Kotak Mahendra Bank increases its MCLR and Punawala finan Financial Corporation enters digital consumption in the uh, loan space and the College of Air Warfare and Usman University comes uh, memorandum of uh, agreement understanding and uh, Chindanwaras RNs get new identity those named as Tapuda and Haryana wins the 12th senior men's national hockey championship. They may ask it, who wins the 12th senior men's national hockey championship means you have to say Haryana. Haryana wins the 12th this is a very important uh, and uh, uh, OP Jindal global university uh, taken a memorandum of university Spanish government. Uh, Manadeep Singh wins the North India bodybuilding championship in Panchakula. So, who wins the North India Bodybuilding Championship means here uh, 
uh, Mandeep Singh. Recently, the United States starts United States intelligence soft uh, sorry intelligence satellite uh, launched by the US at California. This is uh, one more important thing and uh, one more important day here that is 17th April. So, what is the uh, importance of the 17th April? The 17th April is going to be uh, celebrated as World Hemophilia Day. World Hemophilia Day that is a very, very important and sterilite power acquires a 64.98 percent stake in MTCIL. So, these are the things and uh, uh, to conclude this. So, IIT Gauti partners with uh, NTPC in developing energy efficient tech and Skill India International Center to come up in Odisha. So, in Odisha the government is going to be uh, uh, developed as Skill India uh, International ship and um, uh, M and M. So, this company to sell entire the stake to Mahindra Sanyo specialty steel for 212 crore rupees and HDFC bank uh, sorry HDFC bank board approves uh, uh, the reappointment for Renu Karnad as a director and uh, recently uh, in the month of April Tamil Nadu wins the national basketball championship. These are the uh, activities happens and uh, news in the month of April 2022. So, it covers all it covers all the national international issues uh, at the same time including sports science and technology also. So, I hope uh, so I collected a maximum extent of the total information these things are may be highly useful for you and uh, not only based on this uh, so read uh, the journals of uh, uh, newspapers news journals and see the editorials of all the news channels then you can comes uh, with uh, a conclusion so like if you prepare a month wise things um, uh, up to 6 months so october 16th is the preliminary examination going to be conducted so that's the reason so uh, means october September, uh, what do you call it? August, July, June, April, May. If you prepare all these months uh, current affairs, definitely you can cover all the questions from which they are going to ask in the current affair context. So, thank you.